he come up to see, I guess, who I was talking to. He probably thinks I'm uh, a lunatic. <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, I haven't made a video in a while. And uh, out here at Lake Buffalo with my friends, right over here. They're, uh, they're just kind of hanging out, eating a lot. A few of them went swimming, which I can't blame them for that. Anyway, the reason why I haven't made a video in a while is I've been quite busy. Got a new ride. And been working on getting it uh, ready to do some camping and adventures and road trips and everything else. Uh, I was going to show y'all the new, uh, I don't have a name yet. For now, it's the new ride. So, you want to check it out and check out what I've got in the back so far? Yeah, apparently the cow does. Yeah. Let's flip this around and take a look. It's a 2005 model, but one of the first things I had to do is change the tires. And I didn't realize the price of those tires. And it's all-wheel drive. So I did two of the front tires, but back tires I haven't been able to uh, do yet I've had some people say that you have to change off four or you risk messing up, messing up the drivetrain drive system differentials or whatever because it's computer sends so much torque to one side not the other but hopefully that is only if they start sliding and hopefully before they have the opportunity to go sliding I uh, get enough money to get two more those two I lucked out and got them used so, anyhow here's the inside not too bad you know like mo most vehicles this one's got a little tear right here but a lot of these vehicles that I looked at this old, the seats had big old holes in them. And uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. It does have uh, three rows of seating. Yeah. I have the back seat down. That third row. Actually, I mean, I have the two. Mid, what do you call it? The middle row. Middle row seats are down and I took the third seat loose and just slid it up and there's plenty of room for sleeping back here and uh, when Nikki's with me I will take these boxes out and we'll be able to put I think you can put a full-size mattress I don't know I know for a fact you can put a twin mattress and then I got a single mattress and got my little battery right here uh, 12 volt deep cycle marine battery. Hmm. We are pushing, uh, I don't know, I can't even read that. Twelve point three volts. I had asked on a few sites if you could do this, and I haven't had a response. What I mean is plug the your uh, power inverter into a power outlet because I mean see it's it's all hooked together and I'd ask if you could charge your battery like that and like I said nobody's answered well somebody's upset maybe I'm in their spot Anyhow, uh, I, I don't know how safe this is. 
I know the wires are not hot or anything. And I know if you left it like this constantly, it probably would drain your battery. So I wouldn't recommend leaving that plugged in. Anyway, what I was going to get at is earlier, this said 12.0 volts. And like you just saw it, now it says 12.3 volts. So, um, yes, it is charging it. Very slowly, but it is charging it. And if you find yourself in the need of containers like this, um, I don't really recommend this one. Because, I mean, it's big enough, deep enough. But uh, these sides, they're, they're real flimsy and they bow out. And these don't lock down like these two over here. They've got the latches, so I highly recommend those. And there's not a whole lot of size difference. Um, that bottom one is pretty close to the same size. And it's got the latches. And I'll show you in just a second what I did do to uh, add a little more... Uh, I don't know what you call it. I modified them just a little. So hang on and we'll check that out. Let me get around there. Yeah, I'm up here now. What I did is uh, cut this weather seal. And uh, well, I'm going to show you better, I can tell you. Put it around there. Uh, got on them. We'll see. I just thought maybe that would help keep the little moisture out of it. And I did buy, uh, I think it was a dollar ninety-seven or a dollar eighty-eight something, a rubber mat, because when you pour water out, when you're trying to like brush your teeth or whatever, and you pour your water out, and it hits that dirt, it splashes up all over your feet, and and kind of make a mess so I just thought that little rubber mat and let the water hit that and it's El Cheapo because that's all it is throwing in the ground to stop it from splashing um y'all want to check out what's in the boxes I don't know if you really care but this one my shoes for water shoes little toolbox a uh, few little tools, nothing fancy, and that rubber mat. Back around here, I don't know if you saw it a while ago, but I've got a uh, uh, clamp on a light, which I did use. Oh, oh, this one, this is kind of cool. There's the fellow making so much noise. But anyhow, I've never used one of these, but apparently you can sit it like that and it's got a spigot that comes out and you can turn water on and off. And makes it a whole lot easier than holding a gallon jug of water or a water bottle and pouring it over your toothbrush. Oh, I've got a friend that's trying to join us. Yeah, he went on out. That was a yellow jacket. Taco Casa Cup, and if you're wondering about that, when we was at uh, Possum Kingdom Lake, uh, Nick had come up with a brilliant idea, which I, I never thought about it, but go to his bathroom, fill that up with the water, and then you pour it all over your head, and you can basically take a bath with that. I never thought about it, but it's a really good idea. And so, I keep a empty taco casa cup in here now. Now, all right, it's really, I've uh, took a nap back here. Well, actually, I've slept a couple of nights out here at the lake just to see what it would be like. Oh, I got this little table. It was on our front porch. I don't know if I'll keep it in here or not. I, I was using it. Last night when I was rearranging these boxes, and I just kind of stuck it in here. 
Got my Reflectix that I put on these windows. You can see. Yeah, I think you can see it. I got, I cut them out for that one and that one, and of course the passenger side. And then I've got a uh, front one, a dash protector, whatever you want to call it, sun visor. That I put up there, it fits in real good, and it gives you a little privacy. And we've got our blankets and sheets in here, and a uh, queen size air mattress. That's for when we're out in the tent. And just other miscellaneous stuff in that bottom one. I'll have it all out when we uh, go camping. It'll it'll wind up being in the video. Basically, I was just wanting to touch base with y'all and tell you what's been going on and why I haven't made any videos lately. Plus, I got a new camera. However, all right, now I don't have the old camera. But I got a new camera and uh, a Canon. I got to use it for, oh, I don't know, less than a week. And it uh, crashed out on me. So now, the camera, man, I need a haircut. I'm flipping out. I got wings growing. I'm growing in the wrong spot. I need them growing out my back, not my side of my head. Anyhow, uh, it is uh, at the Canon Repair Facility. Guess would be how you'd put that. So hopefully, I'll get that back this week. A lot of money to spend to not even get to use it. So... We'll uh, get some adventures going, some road trips going. Now, if you're wondering about the gas mileage, quite frankly, it sucks. Which I knew it was going to use a lot of gas. There's no, I didn't have any doubts about that. But running around in town, we're talking 10 to 12 miles a gallon. And uh, out on the road, I really haven't got the chance to hit the road very far. But it, it, uh, probably, I think that wasp got back up in there. Oh, yep, he's up there flying around. I think that door over there is open. Maybe he'll fly out. Uh, I think it's going to get about, mm. yes, sir. I think it's going to get about 17 miles a gallon out on the road, which would be, fat, you know, great, considering it's all-wheel drive. And it's pretty, uh -oh, pretty good size. The tub just fell over. I'm going to try to sell that. Uh, I don't need it. Because I think I like the way these lids latch. You know, and, and less that need, you know, Nikki wants it at the house or my mom needs it or whatever. I'm just going to get rid of it. So anyway, that's it for right now. We'll, uh. See y'all on down the road, and y'all keep on keeping on. Bye. He come up to see, I guess, who I was talking to. He probably thinks I'm uh, a lunatic. No. Yeah. You gonna run from me? Yeah. What that? Peace offering. What that? It's okay. Well, where are you going, lady? probably wondering what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to get busy editing this video now. I not got to do that in a while. It's kind of clouding up. Feels pretty good out here. Okay, I'm really gone now. Y'all keep on keeping on, and I will see y'all on down the road. Bye, y'all.